Hi guys, I want to share a worship moment with you that really has touched my heart from the time that I started leading, I started entering into God's presence. And it's just found out of Psalm 60, uh, 66, verse 1 and 2. It says, Shout joyful God's praises. Shout all the earth. Sing about the glory of His name. Tell the world how glorious He is. And I'm about telling, telling how glorious God is and how amazing He is. See, worship is about man touching God's heart. And see, in the Bible, David was a man that touched God's heart totally. The Bible says that he was a man that was after God's heart. And I want to encourage you today that if you are a man or a woman or a child, even in this place today, that you have the opportunity to touch God's heart every time you ask and call upon his name. See, most of you know that I go to the gym three or four times a week, sometimes five. And I don't just wake up and I'm at the gym. I have to intentionally get up, I have to prepare myself, and I go to the gym and I work out my muscles, my body, my physical body. Well, see, worship is like that. It's getting up intentionally. See, the Bible says that we have to will ourselves. I will bless the Lord with all my heart and all that is within me. We will ourselves to get up and get into God's presence immediately. We don't have to make ourselves go there. We don't have to think ourselves to get there. We need to keep our spiritual body, our spiritual heart fit. And how we do that? How do we do that? Well, worship keeps us fit. Worship strengthens our heart. Worship as a physical exercise strengthens our body and it renews our minds. Worship is an exercise of our spirit. So the more time we spend in God's presence, the more audible his voice is, the more time we spend in his presence, the more accuracy that we hear his, his will for our life. Some of you may ask, I never hear from God. I never hear from God. I never know what he's going to say to me. I encourage you to get into God's presence. See what he might say to you today. See what he might say to, might say to you tomorrow. But I encourage you to work out that spiritual muscle. Worship is the event just like when you go into a weight room. It's where spiritual athletes work out. They prepare for the race. See, serious athletes train all year round. Twice a month is not enough to hear God's voice. We need to work it out every day, every time we get a chance. Find that special place with God. You all know my favorite scripture, and that's in Psalms 91, that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So I encourage you today, find that secret place with him in the mighty name of Jesus. Have a great day.